But I approach this not as an expert, not as someone who worked for a ministry, not as someone who had all the answers, but the Lord used this material, ladies, in ways that I cannot put into words. Those two hours every Saturday morning were the quickest two hours of my week. Um, I was always nervous that it was going to be quiet, right? There's, as I mentioned, one chapter that, that talks about what's acceptable in the bedroom. And as I'm doing the homework and writing down these words like sex toys, I'm like, oh my gosh, no one's going to talk this week. But without a doubt, I would have to cut women off at the end of each group so that I had time to watch the video. It was like women wouldn't stop talking, that the Lord really blessed this conversation and did such huge healing through these 10 weeks. My role as a leader was actually very simple. It's pretty wonderful um, because Linda and Julie have made a fantastic leader's guide that really helps you through this. They talk about different what-if situations. Uh, They talk about questions to go through each week. And you'll be able to find this on our website, but it's a lot more than just being handed this and saying, go for it, leaders. Um, They've really taken this and been able to be the teachers of the material where I more just felt like a facilitator. I felt like someone who just kind of got to show up and hang out with these women and help lead them through some of this discussion. Uh, The conversation week to week was really powerful. There was a lot of times where I saw women going from tears, um, really struggling with issues, to laughter, when God would bring joy in conversations that we really would have never expected to talk about during a Bible study. Uh, To be honest, I really didn't feel like I was doing that much. It was something where I showed up, and the material was there, and the Lord really used that. 